Aloha, I'm Helen Belgene, founder and president of Arts of Kona. I have been asked by my board of directors to share my story about how Arts of Kona came to be. Prior to moving to Kona in 2003, I worked for an acoustical consulting firm in Norwalk, Connecticut. Their niche market was acoustical consulting for performance arts venues. I had some idea of what it meant to have a performance hall that was acoustically correct. When I moved here, I became a member of Kona Music Society. I joined their board of directors and I served as their secretary and their development director for a little over five years. I was aware that there was no acoustically correct venue here in Kona in which to have performances offered for our community. In February of 2008, one of the members of Acoustics came here and we had a charrette with members of our community, Aloha Performing Arts Company, Kona Music Society, the Chamber of Commerce was represented, the Governor's Liaison represented, the University of Hawaii was represented, and we all sat and chatted and talked and shared about what this community needed in the way of a performance venue. Following that charrette, I then in June went to Denver as a representative for Kona Music Society at the first ever National Performing Arts Association slash Chorus America convention. It was the first time ever all 42 National Performing Arts Associations gathered together under one roof. The word of that convention was collaboration. It was clear that unless the arts of all disciplines began to collaborate with one another, the arts were going to find a very difficult road ahead of them. During the last workshop of the last day, I attended the difference between logo and brand. While sitting there, I heard Arts of Kona, A-OK, -okay, go do it. And I turned to my associate next to me and I asked her what she had said and she told me she hadn't said anything and to be very quiet because she was paying attention to the workshop. Again, I heard Arts of Kona, A-OK, -okay, go do it. I started to doodle with the A, the O, and the K to see if my non-creative visual arts mind could come up with some kind of a logo. Flew home that next night and participated in the last performance of the season with Kona Music Society. The following day, the words Arts of Kona would not leave me. And I decided that this community had so much talent and so much art to offer its community and beyond that we needed an organization that would gather arts of all disciplines, cultural, performance, and visual together in a membership organization. In July of 2008, I incorporated Arts of Kona with the state of Hawaii as a nonprofit organization. We then moved forward to find a board of directors to establish our articles of incorporation and our bylaws and start that tedious process with the federal government to become nonprofit status with the federal government as well. That status was granted in February of 2009. During the summer, we solicited membership of individuals and art organizations all throughout the Kona area. In February of 2009, Arts of Kona hosted its first member artist showcase. We welcomed about 150 enthusiasts from our community to view the visual arts, to be able to purchase them, and at the same time and in the same place, they were treated to performance art on stage. Following the success of our member artist showcase in February, we decided that we would now have a young artist showcase in October. And in order to do that, we needed to raise some funding. So in July, we held our first Kona Music Sampler. It was an eclectic evening of a variety of arts. We had Baroque and Renaissance music. We had chamber orchestra music. We had Voggy Mountain Ramblers playing early Americana and bluegrass music. And we concluded with John Chiave and Hope 
and John's slack key guitar and Hope dancing. The money that we raised during that benefit concert helped to underwrite our Young Artist Showcase in October of 2009. That first showcase represented 20, over 25 schools and art organizations for students in grades 3 through 12. We had 235 students participate. Again, the same format as that of the adults. Performance art going on stage in the same place at the same time as the visual artists were sharing their art at their tables. The vision of Arts at Kona, to facilitate collaboration within the arts community to best promote and present the arts in Kona has been established. We are so proud of how much Arts of Kona has done to gather together people of all art disciplines to participate with one another and to support one another. Our vision to create a gathering place to share and experience excellence in the arts continues to endure. The goal to build a West Hawaii Arts Center with an acoustically correct performance venue and an arts exhibition space is the ultimate goal of Arts of Kona. The community needs to gather around and support this vision in order for this to come into fruition. Arts of Kona was started by me because I felt led to do so. I am now being led to begin a new chapter in my life and my husband and I will be returning to the mainland. I leave Arts of Kona knowing that my board of directors will continue to find the vision and the leadership that has been established thus far. I am confident that our community has a blessing of the gift of arts here that is to be shared not just locally with our local Ohana, but the world at large. Kona can become a go-to place to share and experience excellence in the arts. My heart is full knowing that Arts of Kona is established and that budding and gifted artists will be able to continue along the avenue of collaboration with one another to present and promote the arts in this community and beyond. Kona will hold a part of my heart always and Arts of Kona a big chunk of it. Mahalo and aloha and I encourage each and every one of you to help the arts grow, be nourished and survive in this beautiful, wonderful place that has been given to us. Thank you.